Hi, I'm Sean, and you're watching Chopworks. Today I'm going to be uh, putting a new battery in this little Polaris Sportsman 110. came with right here. It uh, was marginally performing when we got it. It's a GTX 5L. I uh, charged it and recharged it and uh, all that great stuff here and put it on a battery conditioner. And, uh, still, still marginal. It's been two years. So what I'm going to replace it with is uh, NOCO is making a lithium ion. And I uh, didn't know that until I went out and picked that up. Uh, braided as a 12 volt 250 amp and uh, see what we, what we got here. So this is a little, little battery here, I guess it comes with some covers. Come down and uh, different ways of attaching your wires. It's a universal battery. It's uh, many different makes and models. It says it's uh, 12 volt DC, 250 amp output. So we want to have a look. And its model is a NLP5. What else I have in here is, uh, looks like some spacers of different sizes. It says 24 mil on it. This one here says 20 mil. And it's just so you can get a tight fit in the battery box. At least I'm assuming that's what it'd be for. Space it up for whatever size you need. I guess we'll get it installed and uh, see how it performs. See if there's any noticeable differences. It comes with one big bejesus thick book, apparently. Don't know what that's for. Let's do her! Okay, the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, it comes with an Allen key for the screws, multiple uh, locations here, however you want to tie it down. So looking at it, and one battery is taller than the other. I take that spacer that we were looking at earlier, the, the 20 mil, and it makes it about the same size here. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that, put it in, tie it down here with the the o-ring that uh, holds it in and connect her up. There for now. See if I can find some specs out on the uh, original battery there. It's a 12 volt, 4 amp hour for 10 hours. Let's see if there's an actual uh, cranking amperage like this lithium has. And uh, I'd just like to point out that I haven't charged it or anything. It's just fresh out of the box here. Uh, see how, how it holds up that way, I guess, before I throw a charge on it. If I need to. So that's tied in, it can be wired on, and then, uh, if these caps need to be used or not, I'm going to say probably not, the way they're designed on here, there's no way for the wires to come through, so, throw them off to the side for now. Do 
put a little Benetrox on here, give it a good connection that way. Of antioxidants, so you don't need much. Yeah, it seems like I hit my first snag. The screws are slightly bigger than the eye terminal. Enlarge them. Now I luck out I've actually got a reamer. Uh, you can just use a knife tip on it. It's uh, a lot slower but you put it in and work it around and around and around and around. Uh, you can do it with a drill if you're very careful but uh, I don't recommend it. Use the reamer. You can already see a little bit of brass shavings coming off here. Sixty bucks. This one uh, cost about a hundred and twenty. There, they're talking Canadian too for all this. So, give you guys an idea. Well, I guess it's uh, eighty amp cold cranking. It says right there on the battery. I replaced it with one that said, uh, I believe it was 250. Weighs a little bit less, well, quite a, quite a little bit less. And has a better warranty. So hopefully it uh, sparks this thing right up and away it goes. Okay, we're fitting now. So. Okay, we'll find 
the key and we'll uh, spark it up. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see if it, uh, see if it starts here. Starting it there. Like I say I don't know what the voltage was on everything. I really don't want to bother checking. Just going to make sure, make sure the seat fits here now. See why it won't. And seats on. We're uh, we're good to go with this now. <laughs> 